Hi, my name is Marissa and I'm one of the operators of PreschoolLearningOnline.com and ActivitySchoolBus.com. Um, I'm here today with my small group series to show you another activity that I usually keep in my small group bag. When the children are all around, I always pick out a new activity. And this one is actually a really fun one because the children can help making it, can help make it, or you can make it yourself. Um, and all you need are some um, lids, whoops, lids of juice cans, and um, some little pictures that you can color, and Mac Tac um, to make them nice and thick and durable, and just tape them to the uh, juice lid. So now you can make so many games out of this. You can do memory games. You can do color games. Um, the you could do like um, anything that you could basically do with cards. You could do with um, the juice can lids. So what I have here are rhyming words. So now what I would do with these, I don't know if you might have to come up and and show them on the table. Um, what I have with these are rhyming words. So what I would do is, now you don't have to use juice lids, I kept these ones off of the juice lids, that way, you know, you could see them both. Um, so the children would have to find the words that rhyme. Now there's three in a set, so they would look around and um, maybe I would start them off just to help and I would say, okay, here is pie. What rhymes with pie? So then they could look and we have tie and we have... Maybe, oh, oh no, maybe that one only has two. Oh, fly. Here we go. I thought I had all three in a set. And then maybe I would pick another one and I would say, okay, what rhymes with jug? And then they would look around and we have bug and we have rug. Now what I would do, since I was helping them with the first two, I would make it a little bit trickier and ask them to find the last two sets. So I might ask a child to pick out whatever picture they liked the best and maybe they would choose B. So then I would say, okay, um, Lori picked B. So now what rhymes with B? And then they could look at what was left over and maybe they would be saying them. They would maybe say B can, no that doesn't rhyme. Um, B fan, no, that doesn't rhyme. Uh, B key, yep, that rhymes. And then B tree, yes, that rhymes. And then I would say we have the last three left and we would repeat them anyways, even though we know that those will all rhyme. So then we say can, fan, and pan. And then what I would do is I would go over each set again and have the children repeat all the words just so that way they get the rhyme of them. So we would go over the first group. We would say, what did we find in the first group? We found pie, tie, and fly. What did we find in the second group? We found jug, bug, and rug. What did we find in the third group? We found bee, key, and tree. And what did we find in the last group? We found can, fan, and pan. Now, I would have them jumbled up a little more. They were kind of already in order from the last time I played with them, uh, with the children with this game. But you would want to jumble them up. That way it's harder, a little bit more tricky for them to find each um, picture. So that's a rhyming game. Like I said, you can do a memory game where you can double up the pictures. And if you would like to have a bunch of can lids all at once without drinking a ton of juice, um, I just send a little note home with parents saying that, you know, we're going to be creating our own new game for the classroom. All we need is some juice lids. Please send in with your child um, washed and dried juice lids and we can use them in the classroom. So there's a game for you there. Enjoy.